Yo, to man, what's good with y'all? It's your boy. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So, nah, nah, the chosen one. Nah, nah, the glow. Right? Nah, nah, the swole. Guys, I'm back with another video, man. Listen up, bro. You know, dealing with toxic people. You gotta beware of this, bro. You gotta literally stay away from toxic people on this journey because you're gonna attract them, bro. You know, whether you wanna believe it or not, man, you're going to attract toxic people. When you somebody with pureness, when you somebody with light, bro, you're gonna attract all sorts of people on this journey, bro. And you gotta be able to maneuver and cut these snakes out. You know, take these snakes, right, away from you. Cut them out of your grass. Facts. That's why, I, me personally, I keep my grass very, very cut. Very, very low. You know, I don't want no, no, uh, uh, snakes in them. I'm just being honest, bro. You know, I, I keep my circle very short. You know, the people that I interact with, I keep it very, very short, bro. You know, not a, I don't have a, a lot of group of people who I have a, a hang around. I just don't want that because a lot of people in today's society, they're just fake. Okay. Let's just, let's be honest. You know, a lot of people will not want to hear this though, but I'm here to speak that truth. I'm here to speak that real. Like I've always done ever since I started YouTube, bro. This is what I do. You know, I'm built for this, bro. You know, semen retention, amazing path. I'm still on it to this day. You know, my goal is 365, you know, and I'm getting closer and closer to that goal. You know, I'm on like day 269, day 268. So I'm very close to that goal. You know, I, I'm pretty, I have like a hundred, probably less than a hundred days left to actually hit that year goal of semen retention and NoFap. You know, me just completely going celibate, completely just not sleeping with no chicks, no porn, no masturbation, none of that. You know, I've just used all of this energy to focus on my craft and I've seen success with it. You know, I've seen a lot of success with it. I've been hitting the gym more. I've seen my body transform, you know, I'm going to make, by the end of the year, I'm going to have a video, right, of my transformation. So make sure you guys stay tuned, man. Subscribe to the channel, you know, but you need to cut a lot of people off, guys. It's 2024. If you still have, a, a, you know, snakes around you, people who are fake in your circle, you got to say goodbye, bro. Especially if you're trying to level up right now. You know, ask yourself this. Are you trying to become better this year? And if your answer is yes, you got to cut these toxic people off, bro. These are the people you do not want around you right now, bro. Negative people, you got to cut them all off. You know, in our society, people think you have to have all of these friends around you to, per, to, to come off as cool. Guys, let me, let me tell you something. You don't need all those friends, bro. They're actually going to distract you into finding your God-given purpose. They're going to distract you into hitting that next level. They're going to distract you for you becoming your best self. If I was still hanging around with all the people I used to hang around with, guys, I'm telling you this now. I won't be sitting here today making content, changing thousands and thousands of lives every single day. I won't be doing what I do today, bro. And I'm just being honest. I know what I've accomplished, bro. You know, all these negative people, they're going to bring you down. They like the crabs in the bucket. You know, when you about to go up, they trying to pull you back into the bucket. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you guys, cut them off, bro. This video is for somebody. You're still probably around these people. You know, they negative. It can be family. It can be friends. It don't matter. You have to love these people from a distance. You got to cut them off, man. Whatever it takes. You got to ask yourself, if you really want to uh, go to the next level, if you really, really are determined to change your life this year, you need to cut certain people off, guys. Not everybody can go to the top with you. You know, it's just facts. Not everybody can go with you, man, right? A lot of people can probably vouch, man. Comment down below. You know, when you started to see changes in your life, it was a period of time where you were losing friends. You were losing family. You were losing associates. You know, you were losing people in your life. This comes with the, the, with the journey. This comes with being a, a different individual. This comes with God giving you a different purpose. It is all a part of it, bro. It's not going to be easy, man. You know, this is why I know I'm a very strong guy. Very, I'm very disciplined. I'm very self-controlled. I'm very, you know, I have a lot of willpower. I have a lot of strength. 
not just spiritually, but physically, mentally. I'm very, I'm a very strong individual, period. Because the things that I've gone through, most people will not even want to dare go through those things. I'm telling you this right now. Most of the things that I went through, people will not dare want to even step in that position. Because the things that I went through to get here, bro, bro, <laughs> it, it was some, it was some pressure. But they say, hey, hey, they, well, you know what they say? It takes pressure to create diamonds right right i have i have some kingdom keys right now bro i'm changing lives bro I'm, I'm i'm still young i still have a lot to learn you know i still have a lot of ways i can grow i'm 21 years old for those of you guys who don't know people think i'm 24 25 right because i'm just mature like that but sometimes i can you know i have that demeanor where i can be calm i can be cool i can chill i'm still young at the end of the day so it's still in me but on this journey you just you just become stoic bro you just become a man and people be thinking that you, you you can't have fun or something it's not like you don't want to have fun bro it's just because you can see through all the deception you can see through all these snakes you can see through all these people who are trying to fake it <laughs> you can see through it all right or wrong guys on this journey your discernment has been so high right that you have to you had to lose a lot of people and if you're watching me still and you've never cut people off I'm telling you this now. This is the year you need to do that. Nobody wants to be around somebody who's not growing, guys. So if these people are around you and they're kind of making you stagnant, bro, they need to go. Stop making excuses. Stop saying, oh, well, uh, I've known them for five, ten years. It don't matter. You got to love them from afar. Cut them off, bro. Right? If you're a female watching this and you've got some female friends around you hating on you, you know, they're talking behind your back cut them off my sister cut them off it's only right or else you're going to stay the same i'm telling you guys this bro this is from experience this is like i'm when i speak on things like this bro i have gone through it i've gone through it bro i've gone through it i know exactly what i'm talking about this semen retention journey comes with people being toxic towards you sometimes because at the end of the day you're pure okay and they want to pull you down right for you to start being toxic with them I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You're going to have the people coming back saying, oh, you want to go smoke some weed? Or you want to go take a sip of alcohol? Right? Or, or you want to go to the club? Right? Or you want to, you know, you, you want to start chasing the, these chicks with me? Or you want to, you know, have this girl or whatever? You, you're going to have a lot of temptation. Come back. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm warning you guys before you take on this journey. It is going to come with a lot. But the reward is way greater. Serving the Most High, serving our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is way more important than giving your all into this world. Because guys, if you put your all into this world, right, it, it's never going to last, right? But, uh, and the Bible even says, right, those who sow into their flesh, that you're going to reap corruption, right? When you sow into your spirit, you're going, you're going, you're going to reap everlasting life, right? facts i'm gonna put them i'm gonna see I don't, don't quote me on it you know but i know that's that verse is powerful i'm gonna have it up here for you guys to see it guys it is so powerful bro it is so powerful to be able to have that power in you and to cut people off you know because people in our society today even if this this person is holding them back pulling them back into the bucket all right like the crab in the bucket method i was talking about they're still gonna have them around them because they're afraid Man, I was never afraid to cut people off. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, bro. And now I'm going to the next level of life. I'm I, this is the most successful I've ever been, bro. In all my in all my 21 years of living. You know, obviously, you know, when I, I started YouTube, taking YouTube serious when I was about 18, 19, but I, I started YouTube when I was 17. I didn't really post content like that. That's when I discovered I wanted to do YouTube, right? But 18, 19 years old, this is when I really took it serious and I started to take off. You know, I started to, you know, just be myself. You know, a lot of you guys rock with me because I just be myself. I'm myself. I'm not acting like nobody, bro. I'm not on my soul. <laughs> like, bro, it's as simple as that. It is as real as it gets. Facts. Toxic people, beware of these people, man. If they negative, cut them off. They gotta go. Bye bye. You know, this goes for the women too that I have in my life, right? I got some, you know, some great women in my life. Shout out to the women. You know, you know yourselves. But, you know, the ones that I used to cut off, the ones that I used to, uh, let me say it this way, actually. The ones that I used to have in my life, man, it was so embarrassing, bro. 
you know, even though they were, you know, kind of hurting me in a way, I was still keeping them around because I was I was using that excuse of, oh, she's a baddie. You guys know how it be, you know? You, sometimes when you a man and you, you in that type of mindset, guys, you're gonna tolerate a woman's bad behavior. You can't. The moment I got on this journey, I cannot tolerate it. I'm a king. You're not about to waste my time. You're not about to, you know, make me feel like I'm, I'm, I'm nothing. No, 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 no. You cut off. I'm saying bye-bye. <laughs> Facts. Kings. That's how you got to look at it, bro. If you got a toxic woman in your life, man, you got to cut her off, bro. It don't matter if she's a 10 out of 10. If she's a dime, it don't matter. Those looks ain't nothing. If she's being toxic towards you, why you still got her around, bro? Why? You know, I can understand why because she probably looks good, man. You know, a lot of guys want women that look good. Let's just be honest, bro. We do. But you got to put your morals first, bro. Mm. You got to put the morals first. You got to put what you believe in first, bro. Facts. It's, it's respect. It's honor. <laughs> Not the looks. That, that That's nothing. You can get another woman that looks good, kings. You can, you can always get another woman that looks good. Just keep working on yourself. Just become keep becoming better. You're going to get a woman that looks good inevitably. Because you're literally starting to look good yourself. You're going to attract a woman that looks good. Okay? But that's besides the point, man. I just want to give you guys this quick video. You know, a lot of people hit me up, you know, asking me about toxic people, what they should do. This is your video. This is your message. This is for you. Cut them off, bro. Stop wasting your time with them. They are draining you. Have you ever been, have you ever just been around a negative person and they're just making you feel drained? <laughs> bro, <laughs> I can't do it, man. I just can't, bro. You know, and I'm glad I'm on this journey now because I have the power now to be like, hey, no, you know what? I'm cutting you off. Say goodbye. Because I'm tired of just getting my energy drained and sucked, right, from negative people. It is draining. It's literally just draining. I'm in a, I'm in a position in my life where I just want positive uh, vibes, bro. That's it. You know, the people that I talk to now, it's nothing but positive vibes. If you, if I, if I get a sense, listen to me, I'm a child of God. You can't fool me. If I get a sense of negative energy, I'm cutting you off. I'm done. I just can't do it anymore, man. I'm, you know, I'm growing older too. You know, I'm still young, but you know, I'm, I'm growing, right? I'm maturing. So, you know, the things that I used to find attractive, it, it, it's not even happening anymore. It's not attractive to me anymore, man. You know? But like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Let me know in the comment section, how do you deal with toxic people? Have you cut them off? If you have, let me know in the comments. I love you guys. More videos are coming soon. And hey, until next time, keep your seed so you can succeed, fellas. Right? Retain and gain. Facts. <laughs> we retain it and gain it, man. I love y'all, bro, and I'm out.